Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to install Marshmallow on our Coolpad Note 3. So before starting this video guys, let me get this thing to your notice. You will lose all the data in your mobile. So kindly create a backup and then follow this tutorial. And the second thing is remove your SIM card cause once you install Marshmallow, during the initial setup process, the Marshmallow would need internet. So make sure you have a working Wi-Fi internet connection or else it will use your mobile data so you can remove your sim card so the first thing that we need to do is we need to install mtk drivers on our windows operating system since i am running a windows 10 operating system i have made a tutorial on how to install mtk drivers and the link for the same is offered to you under step one so kindly watch the video and install the mtk drivers on your windows 10 operating system well if you are running a windows 10 64 bit operating system the procedure is slightly different you have to disable signature verification enforcement everything is clearly mentioned on the video itself so kindly watch the video and follow it and then get back to this video so people with windows 7 operating system and windows 8 operating system you need to google how to install mtk drivers on your operating system install it and then get back to the video so guys now the second step would be to download the marshmallow firmware itself so under step 2 I have offered you a link of Coolpad forum and once you click on it you will come to this page and you need to download the latest Marshmallow firmware that's offered to you and uh, all you can do is you can click on this link and you will download the firmware and for people who own a Coolpad Note 3 Lite the Coolpad Note 3 team says that the update will be available for you guys soon as well. So now the third step would be to download the SP flash tool so to do that under step 3 I have offered you a link so once you click on it you will come to this website and you need to scroll all the way down and you need to look for SP flash tool for windows and scroll down and download the latest version that is uh, 5.1620 and keep it ready the fourth step would be to download and install the minimal ADB and fastboot tool so you will find the link under step 4 so download it and you even need to install this so install it now the next thing that we need to do is we need to extract the firmware from the zip file so kindly do that and uh, once you extract it it will be 2.56 gb and the next thing that we need to do is we need to open the sp flash tool and uh, we need to click on flash tool so out here we need to select scatter loading and uh, we need to browse the firmware on the desktop and select android scatter and press open and once you do that you will see that the flash tool has detected the firmware and we have everything out here and uh, make sure that everything out here is ticked by default it will be ticked but still you can check once manually so switch off your phone and keep it ready and click on download and immediately connect your phone to the laptop So unplug your USB cable and switch on your phone, it will take a good 4 minutes to boot. So this is how you install Marshmallow on your Coolpad Note 3. So if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel that's Geek Review and stay tuned for many more videos to come. This is Kevin signing off from Geek Review.